Cleopatra is a huge figure who captivated the world, claimed a proud personality, and was side by side with great emperors and generals in the governance of the state. As well as her looks, her statecraft is very precious. She passed away at the age of 39. It is because of suicide. Different investigators have given different interpretations about her suicide and how it was done, and the most popular fact is that she took her own life with a snake bite. As famous opinions about it are, that she killed herself by getting her chest bitten by a poisonous snake, that she may have killed herself using a deadly poison hidden in her hair, that she committed suicide by applying an ointment with deadly snake venom, that she killed himself by using a fine shell like the tip of a needle fed with deadly snake venom. In addition, Plutarch, an ancient chronicler, was of the opinion that no one really knows what happened. Cleopatra was called the beauty of the Nile. She was the queen of ancient Egypt. So beautiful, so powerful, what tragedy drove her to commit suicide at the age of 39? Let's find out about it in today's video. Her weapon for gaining and asserting power was her image. It has now been revealed that she may not have had thin, elongated eyes as depicted in the pyramids, but rather round eyes. She knew more than five different languages. A certain Egyptian historian says that she knew how to speak eight foreign languages fluently. Furthermore, she was the one who ended the pharaoh's dynasty that lasted for 3,000 years. She was of Macedonian descent, which was then under Greek rule. Hence her name was Cleos Potras. It is a Greek name. Later she became Cleopatra. She also inherited that name. There were six Cleopatra before her. She is the seventh Cleopatra. She rose to the position of pharaoh, queen, the highest governing authority in a male-dominated society. She used her beauty to maintain that position. Ptolemy the 12th pharaoh who ruled Egypt upon his death at 51 B.C, his daughter, Cleopatra, who was 18 at the time, had to take over. She had to marry her 16-year-old brother to secure the kingdom. However, she did not reach an agreement with her brother regarding the rule and fled to Syria three years later. It was at this time that the powerful Roman emperor named Julius Caesar came to Egypt to kill his enemy. The story of Cleopatra approaching Julius Caesar to seek his help in dethroning her brother and establishing her power in Egypt is like a fairy tale. She comes to Julius Caesar, who was heavily guarded, wrapped in and hidden in a Persian carpet given as a gift. Although, it is said, that she was 31 years younger than himself, and was fascinated by her figure. Cleopatra, who became Caesar's unofficial wife, got him to do her job. Cleopatra, who defeated her brother and reclaimed the throne, had to marry her younger brother to secure her kingdom. By that time, after giving birth to small Caesar, Cleopatra had become a mother. She transferred the rule of Egypt to her brother and came to Rome with her sons to live with Caesar. A group of Senate members who opposed Caesar's rule he was stabbed to death in 44 BC. After that, the atmosphere in Rome was not favorable for Cleopatra. She went back to Egypt with her son and poisoned her brother and got the power. Queen Cleopatra, who seduced Mark Antony, who came to power in Rome after Caesar, wanted to create a huge empire by annexing Rome and Egypt. It was Cleopatra's idea to make the center of the empire not Rome, but Alexandria, Egypt. Accordingly, Mark Antony, who followed Cleopatra's opinion, made his residence not Rome, but Alexandria. 
He also conquered Armenia with Egyptian forces. Aware of Mark Antony's new activities, the Romans attacked Egypt under the leadership of Ottoviano Zenavia and defeated Mark Antony and Cleopatra. Unable to bear this defeat, Mark Antony and Cleopatra decided to commit suicide. Thus, Mark Antony died after piercing his body with a sword and Cleopatra died after being bitten by a snake. Egyptian historians disagree about the final moments of Mark Antony and Cleopatra. Some say that after receiving the false message that Cleopatra had committed suicide, Mark Antony killed himself. It is the 1st of August in the 30th year BC. But Cleopatra killed herself on the 12th of August of the 30th year BC. That too, not by getting bitten by a snake, but by drinking a strong poison. She was 39 years old when she died. During archaeological excavations in search of ancient Egyptian mysteries, a pair of mummies found in 2009 in a temple dedicated to the goddess Thyside, in a beautiful area with a sea background on a hill, 20 meters underground, are believed to be Mark Antony's and Cleopatra's. However, she is the most debated queen of Egypt in society. If you learned something about the beautiful queen who could speak eight languages, ruled the state bravely, had a proud personality, and was a tactful woman, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. Thank you.